Well, it's probably not essential. Having dive gear aboard ship is pretty fundamental to safe operations. You never know when you'll have to go overboard to untangle a fouled prop or check an anchor set. So on most boats, at least one set of snorkel gear is usually set aside for quick access and deployment. On our boat, it's in the cockpit locker, stored in a glass bottom Bahama bucket, like this. Mask, snorkel, fins, glass bottom. Apart and separate from this setup, we carry a Hookah Max 12 volt powered hookah rig. After years of hauling scuba tanks in for fills, we've come to realize that maintenance diving, that is bottom scrubs and prop cleaning, they've become so routine and persistent that separating maintenance diving from sport diving makes total sense. What I'm saying is that while we still have regulators and backpacks, we don't carry tanks anymore. If we come to an area where the diving's great, we go looking for a dive shop and take advantage of the local knowledge they provide. So let's take a look at the 12 volt Hukamax. The first thing you'll notice is that because it's electric, it's rather small. It fits in this padded carrying case, allowing us to slip it in behind the generator hush box down below. There's room down there for air hoses, weight belts, wetsuits, and all the associated gear, most of which we store in these Ziploc uh, flexible totes. Uh, they're really handy for dive gear. But before I plug this thing in, I'd like you to notice these electrical connectors that I'm using. Uh, these are Anderson connectors, uh, and they're great for large diameter DC cables. And you can't mess up with these as they're polarity correct once you set them up. You need to pick the proper connector that matches the cable size you'll be using. I'm sure you know the drill. The further away from the battery, the larger the cable size. In this case, it's a four gauge wire connector, and the other end runs directly to a 50 amp breaker and the main battery bank. Here you see the mating of the Anderson connectors. A good push and you'll hear a click as they close couple. Disconnecting will require two hands as the connection, once clicked together, is firm and very reliable. So oh, here we go. Once the connection is made and I turn it on, the compressor will kick in and pressurize the air tank to 60 psi. It'll shut down there and start up again when the pressure falls by 20 pounds. The motor cycles with your breathing intake, and should the motor fail, the three gallon reserve air tank provides enough air for a safe ascent. All in all, I like the Hookah Max a lot. I took the 12 volt electric version over the gas model because it's simpler, much more reliable and I don't want to store gas below deck. As to its portable use, we lash the rig in the dinghy, throw in the hoses, and get an hour and a half out of a 95 amp hour battery. You'll want to make up one of these to make the electrical connections. So there it is, rigged and ready. Just throw the hoses over and get wet. I'm Sailor Sam.